QCL microscopy is tightly linked to classic IR and FTIR spectroscopy. While FTIR spectroscopy observes all wavelengths in the infrared range simultaneously, QCL spectroscopy can select individual wavelengths to solve defined problems much more efficiently. This is best explained by using a relatable real-life example, microplastics. Microplastics can be found basically everywhere. When looking at water samples, environmental scientists typically want to know about the identity, size, and number of microplastic particles. FTIR is perfectly suited to answer these questions. Although the scan can take several hours, complete filters can be scanned to obtain a very detailed chemical image of the microplastic contamination. However, if you want to screen a large number of samples, you would quickly amass quite a backup. Now, if you already know which type of microplastics you're looking for, QCL spectroscopy can be focused solely on the specific and optimal infrared range, generating a beautiful high contrast image and present you with a very quick answer to how many. Just how quick is QCL? Well, to put this into numbers, Scanning a filter area of about 100 square millimeters, FTIR would take two and a half hours, while QCL could get the job done in just 25 seconds. A true powerhouse. Remember though, that QCL only looks at a very small and specific part of the infrared spectrum, and thus, the speed advantage quickly fades as we need to acquire more spectral information. That makes FTIR spectroscopy indispensable. The best option would be a seamless combination, of FTIR and QCL technology.